This is a 4 minute marker and we just marked this container with it. Why does it stay on even after a vigorous washing? What makes them so permanent? And how to actually erase one? Well, this video explains the science of Sharpies. Permanent markers have interesting chemicals which keep them long lasting. Before getting into these chemicals, we must know exactly how they work. There are three main components which the ink consists of. The first one is the resin, which helps bond to surfaces like plastic, paper, wood, etc. This bonding process without a chemical reaction is known as adhesion. Glue does the same thing. This adhesive resin is made of chemicals such as acrylic polymers, toluene and xylene, which was previously used. But how do the polymers come out of the marker if they stick to surfaces? This is due to the addition of solvents. When dissolving chemicals, there are two components, the solute, which is the substance which has to be dissolved, and the solvent, which breaks apart the solute into many small crystals, which in turn makes a solution. In the case of permanent markers like Sharpies, alcohols such as ethanol and isopropanol dissolve the resins, the solute mixed into them. In turn, this removes the adhesive effects of the resins. The last ingredient in permanent ink is of course dye or colorant which gives the ink its color. This is added because the resins and solvents are colorless. Now, when we draw on this plastic surface, you may think the ink is squeezed out of the marker tip and then it sticks onto the surface. It doesn't stick just yet. Remember, resins cannot adhere when dissolved. The solvents used in permanent ink evaporate quickly when they come in contact with a surface. This takes a bit of time but is still very quick and that is why you can smudge the ink if fast enough. The colored resin shows this marking on the plastic. Pretty cool. Now, we come to the best part of this video, erasing the ink. Remember when we explained that resins lose their adhesive effects when dissolved? So we need a solvent. In this case, I have used perfume. When sprayed onto the surface, observe what happens. The perfume gets cloudy and the ink smudges. Next, I can just take a tissue and wipe the solution of perfume and ink. The toluene adhesives in permanent marker ink can dissolve in substances like diethyl ether, acetone, chloroform, benzene, carbon disulfide, and ethanol. Now that we know what dissolves the resins, we'll take a look at the chemicals which are inside the perfume. The basic ones include water, rectified spirit, and ethanol, a solvent in perfume which dissolves toluene. To prove this further, if we let the perfume evaporate and diffuse into the air, this is what makes perfume fragrance work, sure enough, the permanent ink is back on the plastic. The resins get their effect back. Try it out for yourselves. Okay, so we hope you guys learned something new from this video and enjoyed it. Be sure to share and make a subscription permanent. Stay scientific.